Have you ever wanted to ride a big touring motorcycle cross country having a lot of fun, but you're afraid it's too heavy for you? Now, if you're riding sports bikes or coming from a smaller bike, they can be intimidating. But let me reassure you that they are lighter when they're rolling than you actually think. Yes. However, we see people say they don't want to get that because they may have some problems getting it off the kickstand. Maybe you got some knee problems, you're getting a little older, and the bike be too heavy to get it off the, the kickstand. Have no fear. We're going to show you an easy, a simple, easy way to get it off the kickstand. And now you can go out and buy that beautiful big bike and tour across show the country. Show them big bike. Show them. That, that's jet blue, y'all. It's a big bike. Big gold weight. if you think you're too small to get it off the kickstand, because you want to ride a heavy bike, we're going to show you how to do that. So we're going to jump on it right now. But before we get started on this, make sure you stay tuned for next week's video. We're going to show you how to mount the motorcycle for most people having trouble mounting big motorcycles. Like Rich said, we're going to demonstrate how to get the heavy gold wings off the kickstand. But he didn't tell you we're going to do it with no hands. Look, Mom, no hands. Now let's go get started. Also, what I didn't tell her, <laughs> she's not using her bike. She's going to do the whole what? demonstration, but she's going to use it on my bike. My bike is 60, 70 pounds heavier than hers. So let's get over here and get on Big Easy. All right, when I get it off the kickstand, I'm gonna take it for a spin. No, she not. <laughs> okay, cake is on Big Easy. And she's gonna show you how to lift this off the kickstand. A 900 pound bike off a kickstand and a female could do it. So you can really, really enjoy that long distance ride without struggling, especially, especially if you put it on a kickstand and the bike is on a decline. Now, gold wings, our degree of leaning is very, very short. But if you got a bike that lean a little bit more, it works the same, it doesn't matter. So let's go through it right now. Hands in the air, baby. Get it off the kickstand, no hands. Struggling. And what this represents is when people cannot get it because the bike is too heavy. So, as you notice, our handlebars are turned to the left, and that's how most of us park our bikes. We'll discuss that later on in the video. So, the easiest thing to do is straighten out the handlebars. No hands, hands in the air, baby. And get it off. Now, my bike is a little heavier than hers. She can get hers off the kickstand with it facing forward. However, the best way to do this, turn the handlebars all the way to the right. Hands in the air, lift it off the side stand. And as you can see, the bike is off the side stand. In fact, I'll get closer so you can see. And that's one way you can lift the bike off the side stand, especially, especially if you have a knee problem or having problems and you really want to ride a big touring bike in comfort, regardless to whether you ride cross country or just a weekend ride, do not be afraid to get those big touring bikes. Now, we, I said I'm gonna tell you why we park our bikes facing left. Of course, when it's next to a lot of bikes, it looks good. But turn it left, sweetheart. Dismount. Now, one of the reasons we do this because obviously the bike lean a little bit more to the left. And if somebody just mistakenly bump your bike, it's less likely that it's gonna turn over. So let's right. demonstrate that. Bump the bike, give it a hard bump. Not going anywhere. Give it a hard bump. Hard, harder. Not going anywhere. Now I've got to hold it, hard bump. As you can see, if you bump somebody, bump your bike, 
and it's all the way to the right, it's gonna fall if you bump it from the left side. Obviously, if you bump the bike from the right side, it's not going anywhere because it's on the kinesthetic, the, the side stand leaning left. So give it a try. Doesn't take much to do it. We do it so much, it is second nature to us. Exactly. And especially when you park your bike and it's on the slope. Yes. If it's on the decline. Yes. And you turn your wheel to the right. A lot easier. And lift it up. It's a lot, lot easier. That's all we have for this video. We really want to keep it short. So go out there, get you a big touring bike. And come on ride with Boots and Jeans Riders. <laughs> but if you're out there riding now, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. For Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. I'm Cake. And we out. Peace. Peace.